In this video, we will learn how to connect the GSM module to a laptop and then we will learn the basic AT commands. To connect the GSM module to a laptop or a PC, there is an interface present on the GSM module. There are different types of GSM modules available with different looks and have a different kind of interface. Some of them have a 4 pin interface which are RX, TX, VCC and GRAND. And some of them have 9 pin RS232 interface. So, in the both cases, we need a converter which will convert the RS232 interface to a USB. Okay, so I will just show you how I connected my GSM module to my laptop. In this image, we can see this is my GSM module and this is the converter. This will convert the RS232 to USB and we can connect to a laptop or a PC. Okay. So after connecting this, the question will be how will we fire the AT commands. Now to fire the AT commands, we will use the put T. Okay. So first thing you need to do is go to the device manager and then find out the COM port to which this is connected. In this case it is COM14. Okay. Then then we need to log in to the terminal of JSM module from put T. I will select OS serial here and then enter the port number COM14 and then we will open. So first command we need to fire is AT and you should get reply as OK. If you are getting this reply that means that your connection is proper and your GSM module is working perfectly. Ok next we will see some of the basic AT commands. There are different types of AT commands. AT commands can be divided into categories like general commands, call network commands, network service related commands, mobile equipment errors, okay, message configuration commands. There are so many commands available. In this video we will cover only few commands. Okay. So first command is CGMI. This will return the manufacturer identity. So we will fire this command. AT plus CGMI. Uh, yes, we got the reply. Then next command is AT plus CIMI. This command will return the international mobile subscriber identity. Okay, so we'll fire this command T plus C. IMI we got the number so next we will learn the call related commands so first command is AT dial ATD command will give a call from the SIM card in your JSM module to the, to the number which you want to call Okay, ATA command is used to receive the incoming call and ATH command is used to reject the incoming call. Okay, I will show you the ATA command first. I will give a call from my phone to this model. See, we got the incoming call over here. And now if we type AT, ATA ok we got the reply and the call is received I will show you over here call is already received ok Next command 
next command we will see how to reject the call again i am calling from my phone we got the call now we will use ath command call call is rejected okay so in this way you fire the call related commands i will just show you the at dial command i have used earlier in this way you have to type and call will be placed next we will move on to sms commands okay so we'll see how to read the messages from gsm module to read messages command is at plus cm gl is equal to we'll read all messages here over here at plus cm gl we got the error because of semicolon i think okay we can see earlier it was working but right now it is not working this command is working at plus cm gl is equal to all this is reading all the messages from from the gsm module now to uh, we can also delete messages using command at plus cm gda okay I have this command over here. I will just paste this command. At plus cm gda is equal to all. And now we see that all the messages will be deleted. Okay. We will see over here. Next. will again read the messages will again try to read the messages and let's see what happens we got error over here because there are no messages in the gsm module now we can see that there is there are no messages on the gsm module because we deleted sometimes the commands of works sometimes it doesn't work it is little ambiguous in gsm module it is little ris risky to work with gsm modules but these are the basic at commands okay next i will be posting my link in the video description from there you can go to my blogger and read more and learn more so that's it for this video thank you